Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Syamil Idlan bin Saidin. Message number 198764. I'm from the Bachelor of Agriculture Science. So, uh, I, I take, I'm taking the course of AGR 4507, which are the Plantation Crop Production of Oil Palm. So, today, I want to talk about the sustainable oil palm production in Malaysia. So, before we go into what I'm going to talk today, I'm going to be... Brief a little bit of detail of oil palm production in Malaysia. So, uh, the variety that Malaysia used to plant commercially is called Elias Guinensis. Uh, the reason why we choose this variety over other variety is because it have high oil content, low oil liquidity, quite low carotene and vitamin level, and the seed that we are using are called Tenera seed, which are the combination of The breeding of Dura and Pisifera plant. Okay, so we straight move on to the problem in maintaining sustainability of oil palm production in Malaysia. So, oil palm plantation brought attention to a loss of 85% of primary forest species in oil palm plantation, particularly those with specialized diets and the invasion of generalist non-forest species and pests such as ant and rats. This lead to the increase in predators such as blood python, barn owl, and leopard cats, thus changing the species, composition, and abundance in the plantation. So we move on. Other than that, oil palm plantation also known to cause environmental pollution. Oil palm plantation release high, higher level of nitrogen oxide and volatile organic compound than rainforest. And if the level of this pol air pollutant remain uncontrolled, the yield of ground level ozone as a secondary pollutant will increase to a level that is harmful to human health. Other than that, soil erosion also has been identified as an environmental problem during the initial stage of plantation establishment involving site preparation and oil palm planting. Soil erosion on path and open area extend beyond site preparation stage and even in mature plantation, soil erosion was estimated 7.7 to 14 tons per hectare per year. So we move on to the ways to overcome. So managing biodiversity in the plantation is very crucial. And one of the measures is to establish and conserve biological wildlife corridors link, linking protected or forested areas. As riparian corridors in all plant plantations have been reported to increase biodiversity and connectivity between reserve and fragmented habitats. These corridors deserve conservation effort, particularly prevention, preservation of the native vegetation and restoration of degraded reserve. New planting and replanting of oil palm can look into landscape and local capacity in the plantation to improve the biodiversity of the oil palm plantation. Next, we must use effective fertilizer and pesticide management in the plantation together with erosion and sediment control at exposed urban area are highly beneficial to pollution prevention. Protection of the remaining peatland in Malaysia is worth the attention of policymakers to reduce carbon footprint of oil palm plantation which is a major obstacle in progress towards sustainability. And the last, uh, the last way is the the Malaysian government need to push for sustainability certification of oil palm plantation that will contribute immensely to sustainable practices in oil palm plantation, and that can be coupled with incentive for downstream sector to source oil palm with such such certification. The certificate will help the government in monitoring the oil palm production and will be able them to take any action in terms of keeping the production sustained. So in Malaysia right now, we have the MSPO, which are the Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil, as a certificate that in order to control the sustainability in oil population in Malaysia. So I think that's all from me. Thank you.